guys, it's Leanna, and today is the beginning of a three-day vlog in which me and my friend are going. Do you want them to know your name? You can tell them. My friend Lee, <laughs> who makes all of the mugs that are on my shelves behind me. Uh, she's never been to California, and she's never been to Disneyland, California Adventure, and Universal Studios. So for three days, we're doing all three. And today we're going Yay. to talk. We're, we're doing California Adventure today. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wearing a stitch. Course. And she's wearing baby Yoda. Alright, let's do it. Here we are in the park. Can you believe it? No. <laughs> There's Mickey Mouse. Little Mermaid ride time. I'm so excited. How was your first ride? Amazing. <laughs> Smiling. <laughs> We're doing what are these rockets? Okay, what is this called? The, the Golden Zephyr. Golden Zephyr? Golden Zephyr. I don't think I've ever been on this. I know you've never been on this. Keep your safety belt fastened. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the rocket machine. That, for Pete's sake, watch your children, please. Yeah, watch your children. What children? I'm your children. What children? Where? That music's for the swings, huh? Yeah, that's awesome. Have a real humdinger of a flight. Have a real humdinger of a flight. <laughs> Have a real humdinger of a day. Go already. Let's go. And we had to wait a whole one minute in this line. I can't wait anymore. <laughs> I do have a license to use the Karen, so <laughs> literally. What if I drop this camera? <laughs> now that I've said it. Whee! Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> Midtown Madness. It was like a car. So we're going on a ride that didn't used to be a Goofy Flight School. It still looks like cars. It used to be a, like a car driving ride. But now it's a flight school even though it's a car. <laughs> Those are literally the same cars. They just painted over. I had the nerve to call that a kitty coaster and I was punished. How many times did I scream? The whole time. The whole time. <laughs> now on to symphony swings. Okay, so swings are done. I didn't scream. I hope you're proud. And now we're gonna do, let me turn around, the emotional whirlwind from, what's it, Inside Out? Have you seen it? Yeah. I've never seen cars. <laughs> How ashamed of me are you? I haven't super, seen super super duper. I haven't seen Coco. I haven't You're not seen even a Disney fan. Anymore. I haven't seen Coco. I haven't seen Up. I haven't seen Cars. Um, but we're going to Cars Land, Radiator Springs. We have arrived.
Oh, would you, you, you like to know something funny? I wasn't recording that whole time. Yeah, so instead of, what is it, Route 66, right? I think it's what it is. What? Is it Route 69? What's the route, the famous one that you travel? Route 66. So it kind of takes place on like that kind of thing. What does? The car. Oh. So. <laughs> Like the the freeway came and bypassed the sad little town and somehow Aww. McQueen and that's like there. the plot of what well, kind of the plot of Roger Rabbit is that they want to put a freeway in, which is funny. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I wasn't recording earlier when I explained that we we decided to go with a 75 minute wait on this ride because we're queuing virtually for the Spider-Man <laughs> thing, and we've been queuing since 7 a.m. and we still have 175 minutes to wait, so we're gonna kill 75 of those 175 minutes in this line for this Cars ride. But we have this whole 75 minutes for Lee to explain the plot of Cars to me. I could probably watch Cars the movie in 75 minutes, couldn't I? Probably. We could probably sit here and watch it. Just get it on your phone and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Does it say on the sign over there? Stanley and Oasis. No, over there. Always open even when we're closed? How long have we been in line? Like 10 years? Yes. This is the first line that you've had to stand in. We got on every ride in like two seconds. This is part of the experience. Lightning McQueen! Good ride. I don't have to watch the movie, right? Because then I'll just know the ride. Oh, you still have to watch the movie. I don't think so. No, you just ride this ride. No. So that was actually super cool. It was. It was and so it kind of makes me want to see the movie. It's a good movie. Was it worth a 75 minute wait? Yes. I yes, have to say was. yes, it was. So we recommend. Yes, it was. Bad at pushing the button. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I thought you were an expert. <laughs> I'm an expert at planning our trip, not at vlogging. <laughs> so we're going to get, because we're experts, we ordered nachos while we were in line, and it's now time to get nachos. A nacho platter for each of us because she has carcass nachos and I have vegan nachos. So, I'm so hungry. And I don't like sharing. Yeah, I mean, we do genuinely, like, even if it wasn't like a vegan thing, I would still be like, let's get two. Yeah. <laughs> Doing a oh, it's the Wakandans. You got a few minutes, right? Yeah, I'll take a silence. Yeah, we know you did not raise this one. It is okay, though. It is not at all bad. It is for training purposes only. So, stand tall. Imagine yourself holding a spear made of vibranium. We will train together as one tribe. Now, let us begin. Here we go. Ready? Jab, stretch, stretch, lock, good one over here. How about this section of see you? Jab, stretch, stretch, lock, very good block. I see you. You okay? Vegan nachos, regular nachos. Oh, this is your drink. That's what is it? Strawberry lemonade? Yeah. And pineapple for chai. So stoked for this. So the nachos are amazing. Were they not? They were delicious. 
So good. And now right next door is the Monsters Ink ride. What is it called? Something Monstropolis. I think, yeah, well, whatever. It's <laughs> doing that. And we were responsible and got water because we're smart. Get it? You see what I did? Smart. I don't know, smart water. <sighs> and then we still haven't done the web slingers. We've been here all day. I mean, it's not even noon, but we've been here all day. <laughs> Be sure to give us a hug. Welcome to the Monstropolis Transit Authority Terminal, the hub for transportation for the greater Monstropolis. You gonna go buy yourself a full-size Iron Man? No. And tell okay. your husband that you're replacing him? <laughs> he only costs seven, no, eight thousand dollars. Super cool. So while we wait, web slingers, it's almost time for web slingers. We have 50 minutes, just enough time to go soaring over California, the whole state. And then we'll shoot some webs. And then we don't have to keep checking the clock anymore the rest of the day. Then we can just like do whatever the fuck we want. Yay. Not that we haven't been doing whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> I'm currently panicking because we're boarding Soren. And I can't tell how soon we're boarding for Spider-Man because there's no service down here. <laughs> and I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> so we hated the people on Soren with us because they were screaming the entire time, don't be! <laughs> so cute. Okay, yeah, so we hated the people next to us who were screaming. And um, I have no longer having a panic attack because it turns out that uh, we have time to get to web slingers. So everything's fine and we're headed there now. <laughs> so yeah, back to the people we hate. We want them to go to Disney jail. Confirmed. Uh, but we are at the web thingy. So, awesome. Oh, what's that? That spaceship over there? Yeah, that's the event on the Guardians of the Galaxy edition. Oh, it is? I thought. Or maybe that's the Avengers one. Why would the Avengers one? Because Guardians is the thing behind it. Oh, yeah, it's all connected. It's all up there. It's all connected. Yeah, it was, well, it was like on the same building. Okay, maybe, yeah. But well, where's the sign that says what this is? Nowhere. You just have to know. Okay. Well. There's the spider bats over there. It explains the situation. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy.
finally inside, and it is very cool, and I am very excited about this. Our potato gun malfunction. Dun, dun, dun. But Avengers Campus para su seguridad. If I did it again, I, my arms would fall off. <laughs> mug that has all of the stitches on it mm -hmm. like all around it and this happily ever after mug that has like all the different castles from all the different movies so cute. did you see the stitch now? yeah but that one's like genuinely kind of scary i like the multiple stitches oh a stitch hat over there stitch everything everywhere yeah that one's cool but also a chip. It's so cute. That would never last anywhere. Okay, merch has been acquired. Here, first I'll things hold first. Your bags. Okay, thanks. <laughs> first things first. You told me what these are. What are they? Um, wish wishables. Wishables. And we got. Well, I got the Peter Pan packs. I got two because they're mystery, and I lucked out because you could get Peter Pan, Wendy, Nana, or the ship. And I only wanted Peter and the ship. And I got <laughs> Peter and the ship. Okay, I'll take them out of their bags for like the 10th time. So this is the little ship that you ride on on the ride. <laughs> it's so cute. Of course, little Peter Pan. <laughs> He's so cute. It's literally the cutest. And then I mentioned to Lee that we would get matching sweaters and they're kind of matching. So his and hers, except hers and hers. And Disneyland for Lee. Want, can you guess what's on mine? You have one guess. Stitchies! <laughs> and that's it so far. More things will be acquired. Wait, it's yours. Oh, so it's got you on my bag now? I mean, like, what? Well, I just, I mean, if you want it, then it's yours. I don't want to keep it from you. Okay, we'll check it. There's a, like 10 other things I want. Um, so, when I acquire those, not if. I'll let you know about it. <laughs> when? Okay. Gotta go check into the hotel right now. By, and by gotta, I mean we want to. <laughs> Bye. -bye. So we checked out the hotel. And now we have to walk back to the car to get the car and move it to the hotel. And we found out that we could have parked at the hotel this morning. But we thought we had to wait until after we checked in at three. So everyone is looking at us horrified and didn't know how to tell us to get back to Mickey Parking, even though they work here. <laughs> so we're following a hedge which the very nice man told us would probably take us to Mickey Parkin. 
pray for us that we find Mickey parking <laughs> and then leave the park like we're normally leaving and then come re-enter the park and park in hotel parking. <laughs> we're professionals. <laughs> we know what we're doing. I'm stuck. I have never stayed in a Disney hotel before. This is a magic carpet, <laughs> literally, <laughs> and a Mickey bedspread and Disneyland on the, it's not a backboard, but whatever that is. And Walt, and there's the glare. You can't, oh, this is a terrible angle to be doing this from. It's just glare from the window. There's Walt walking out of Sleeping Beauty Castle. All in all, it is a nice room. So say we made it, we moved the car, we did the thing, and we are gonna go eat, and I Okay, and so sunburned even more than sunscreen. So we've just decided to have a change of clothes for our, you know, matching evening wear. <laughs> All sunburned and disgusting, but we look fabulous. Mm -hmm. It is dinner time. Oh, and this one has never had Cajun Creole, like Louisiana food. So that is what we were having. The bougiest of bougie sodas. This is like grown up soda. I don't even know if it tastes good. Let's try it. Okay, this is really good. <laughs> this tastes like actual cherries. A plus. So she's having jambalaya for the very first time. Are we excited about that? Very. I'm having an impossible burger because that's what I have everywhere I go. Because that's what every restaurant has. Like, woo, do an impossible burger. <laughs> so, but it comes with Creole mustard, so that's fancy. So we have jambalaya pasta. This is her first time having jambalaya. You love spicy food. Your perfect time, perfect kind of food ever. Isn't it amazing? And my deconstructed impossible burger. <laughs> bon appetit. Show us your bitten one. <laughs> Yeah. 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 And be obnoxious like those people. Yeah, like then so. we can be the people the, the other people hate. Then we won't be angry. They'll be angry. <laughs> I like that better. Okay. What did we get? We got movie, movie star, star mules, mules, which is what is it? Black cherry and whiskey. Whiskey and, and ginger ale. Ginger ale. Alright, let's flip this thing around. Uh with my mouth. Don't judge me. Okay. I was cheersing you, but you're drinking. Mm. <laughs> I'm a bad friend. I oh, know we're gonna do cars again, Yay. But, but buzzed. Yes. Is that is that a car joke being buzzed? No, cars don't buzz. Is there a car you're not pun? Supposed to, I want a car you're pun. You're not supposed to drive buzzed. Mm -hmm. Buzz driving is mm -hmm. drunk driving. That's true. That's where you're going. That's true. <laughs> so uh, don't drink and drive, kids. Don't do <laughs> what we're doing. <laughs> oh my God! Look how the sun is hitting that. Look at that like glowing building. Let's go do it. No fucking way. So like two more drinks and uh -uh. do it? Nuh uh. I will be even more likely to puke. <laughs> it looks so pretty though. It's like they ordered the sun to do that. And if anyone could order the sun to do something, it's Disney. <laughs> so we decided to do the River Rapids ride, which in fairness to us was not open in the day. It just opened at night. So we went and we're soaked now. So we're gonna do the Little Mermaid ride again. Because we're basically mermaids now. <laughs>
makes me want to go to Santa Cruz Boardwalk again. Like even this ride looks so much prettier all lit up at night. And all the little lights for the arcade. It's so pretty. And it's all reflected in the water. It's so pretty. Oh, are you excited about the Bears wheel? <laughs> Exhausted from day one. We were also super hyped. Did I say day two? Day one? Whatever. Exhausted yes. from day one. Exhausted. Day two, we have ears because we're going into Disneyland. Peter Pan and Belle. Our shirts match. So the security guard already asked me, where's Wendy? Didn't bring her, I brought Belle. Belle's better. <laughs> and yeah, there's a massive queue to get in the park. So we're gonna go enjoy the first line of the day. <laughs> And we're inside Disneyland Park. And there's the Mickey flowers. We can stand in line to take a picture in front of that if you want to. No, that's okay. okay. That's I honestly fine. do not need to stand in line to take any pictures. Also, if you're gonna take a picture anywhere, it's in front of the castle, not in front of the Mickey flowers. Okay, we will have to do that.
so short. Did you enjoy your first trip to Neverland? Did. <laughs> Off to Roger Rabbit's Wild Ride. And look, there's a, what's that fish's name? What is it called? What? The whale from uh, Strom, what's it called? From Pinocchio. Yeah. What's it called? I don't know. Uh -huh. Well, that's it right there. <laughs> and the teacup. Do you want a picture in the teacup? Matterhorn. A new ride. Yeah. Cool, cool. Reason maybe it'll be open by the time you come back. Is that why that's there? Are they building a roller coaster? Probably. <laughs> but also these lands all butt up against each other, so they might be expanding Star Wars into behind Toontown. Who knows? <laughs> I love the fishes what in the gas station. Right yeah. Isn't that what that that's is? That's Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. So that might be part of Star Wars that they're building. Wrong turn, okay. <laughs> it's like the Hollywood sign. Yeah. That's Minnie's house and Mickey's house. You used to be able to go in. I don't think they're letting people in right now. But I used to love watching playing with her dishwasher. Pinocchio is so cute. We're going to the Matterhorn. You gotta go on this ride before it breaks down because every single day it breaks down. Hello. We're not here to take some 
Are you excited to be your first Star Wars ride? Yeah. So excited. Star Tours, not Galaxy's Edge, but new to you and it's still pretty awesome. <laughs> Star Tours is accomplished and it was fantastic. Star Wars merch has been purchased and we are off to Indiana Jones, which is my favorite ride. Peter Pan is my second favorite ride. Indiana Jones, favorite ride. <laughs> Dole Whip has been acquired. Your first time having Dole Whip, is it amazing? So amazing. Did I overhype the Dole Whip? No. <laughs> I really don't think there's anything about Disney that you can overhype. Right, so Indiana Jones and Dole Whip, two things that I've been going on and on and on about, <laughs> and you're finally having them. Okay, off to Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean, whichever way you choose to pronounce it.
Still can't believe that we ate at the Blue Bayou, but we're in the process of getting over it as we head to the Haunted Mansion. We're excited about the Haunted Mansion. And I forgot to mention that we successfully entered the queue for Rise of the Resistance, so that is happening today. Oh, so pumped for that.
where the air is deathly still. That is the time when ghosts are present, practicing their terror with ghoulish delight. Step all the way in, please, and make room for everyone. There's no turning back now. Our tour begins here in this gallery, where you see paintings of some of our guests as they appeared in their corruptible mortal state. We are now waiting for Rise of the Resistance. We've explored all of the Star Wars area. Was it everything you hoped and dreamed? 
Is it? Yeah, you're crossed. I'm gonna go around again. <laughs> I know, and we're gonna try to eat at, uh, what's his name's cantina? You know Star Wars things. What's the name of the cantina? I don't know the name of the cantina. She's a fake fan. So we're gonna eat at the cantina. I'm bad at this. If that is if we can't. I mean, we were able to get in the Blue Bayou, but that luck home, we can definitely eat at the cantina. So that's the plan. But first, we must rise with the resistance. <laughs> So we're in line, it's official, it's happening. So Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Is the Resistance, are they the ones that are trying to destroy the ring? Is that what this one was about? Yes, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> what would you do if I was like, so you know how I haven't seen cars? Dumbledore helps. <laughs> but if I, what if I was like, you know how I haven't seen cars or Coco? I also have never seen any Star Wars movies. <laughs> would you murder me? My sister doesn't watch Star Wars. Yes, but she's your sister, not your friend. Yeah, but I can still disown her. Right. But we can, you can unfriend me. You're like, you know what? I'm just gonna fly back in her a day early. Honestly, I'm probably the only person in my group that actually watches Star Wars. Everyone else hates it. My brother likes Star Wars. I'm glad you like it. Not as much as me. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Literally all my house. would do that all day yeah really if we could really but really now we're gonna do star worthy things like blue milk no <laughs> i will drink the blue milk she's gonna keep the, keep the, the cup <laughs> and maybe some star worthy foods perhaps perhaps How is it? What did you get? Uh, fuzzy tauntaun. This is a croissant cooler. Um, not like that. Yeah, that's really good. What do you say? The foam just looks so rough. It's like an apple. It just looks like soap. Put it in your mouth. Um, 
dumps their cargo, doesn't pay what they owe, or delivers their shipment late, you will be placed on the dog list. That sounds exciting. Oh, Good luck, everyone. In the meantime, here is an alien that is on all of our lists. The Galactic Diva, Gaia! Transmitting to a resistant spy. No, I wouldn't do that. I want every channel monitored. Affirmative. No unauthorized transmissions. Sir, here we go. I'm having trouble with my call link. All I'm hearing is static. The transmission is scrambled, sir. Break the encryption or break the data pad. Understood. Understood. We apologize, sir.
do not have what I need. Enough. Be The First Order has a place for those who would join our cause. We also have a place for those who will not. Clear enough.
starting day three. We are at Universal City Walk, heading into the Universal Park. Our plan to go to Voodoo Donuts first has hit a snag. They're not open until 11. But there is Voodoo Donuts where we are not going because they're closed, even though donuts are a breakfast food. Am I right? That's so dumb. Why are they open at 11? Anyway, we're just gonna go straight to the park then because they don't want us here. <laughs>
We can all start new lives on dry land. But we have to hurry. The Deacon and his smokers are after me. Smokers in the distance! Battle station! Max, have the alarm! Helen, get to that tower, quick! It's not a drill! Wes! Wes, I need you at the armory. You lock down that gate. Nothing can go. Go! Seaplane! They have a seaplane! Wes, Max! You got eyes!
knows the way to dry land. Dry land? Yes, my flock to dry land. We're gonna pave it and drive it, tax it and tithe it, sweet Joe above. We're gonna use it, cruise it, fill it, drill it, and build an 18 hole monument to my beloved self. You'll never find dry land, Deacon. I won't let you. And neither will the mariner. Try to get the cake. Fish boyfriend of yours? The one who booked out my eye? Oh yeah, the one he did to him! Lord! He can't see! Bring me the girl. Hi, Helen. Smoke! Whoa! Woo. <laughs> so you want to play games? Fine, let's play. You keep an eye on her. Hey, what you got up there, boys? And he's got dirt! Dirt? Well, see, I need to find dry land. Dry land! So the game's called The First One Who Talks Lives. You leave him alone! He doesn't know anything. That just made you the winner. Helen! Don't tell him anything! And that guy, the loser. Drop him! <laughs>
come and get it. Something on your back. Now why is he still alive? I want him dead. When you're finished with him, signal my secret. We'll blow this place to kingdom come. I'll take care of the guppy. Oh, what is wrong with this? Yeah, cousin, talk. Sorry, I can't see. Need something with a little more. Yes! Ask and you shall receive! Hey, Mariner, look what I found! Say hello to Big Bertha! Oops. Hi. Hey, do us all a favor. Stand in one spot! You're using Chuck as a shield. What I never like, Chuck! No! Yes! Winner! Thank you. Oh, Helen, single tear rolls down my cheek, but get up, you've gotta go. Somebody signal my seaplane! Oh, look at that. I think all my men are dead. Good. See that ladder? Go! Faster! I have a brand new vision. Yes! A pilgrimage for two to dry land. Just you and me. Savoring in the sweet flavor of dry land.
of the compass are the endless seas of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the caps of Waterworld. Thank you. You may recognize our cast from their work in film and television. From the band group, Chris Mendes. From the marksman, Dino Kiras. From SEAL Team, Matt Baxter. From the Walking Dead, Kurt Nelson. From Perry Mason, Matt Quinn. And the man who just did a 45 foot high dive on fire from Hawaii 5 0, Wes Lambert! And the stars of your show, from Curb Your Enthusiasm, Melissa Milicano! And from 911, Josh Ray! From the American Horror Story, my name is Kevin Bruder. Enjoy the rest of your day here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Thank you! If you are enjoying it. Right there. Oh, what's your name? Why well, you the one? Say what? And who's this? Ludia? 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 Lydia? Like Lydia? Oh, Lydia? Oh, have you met Lydia? Lydia the tattoo lady? Like that song. And who's this guy? Lucas, Lucas and Lydia, Lydia and Lucas, there we go. Well, Lydia and Lucas, how can I be a service today? What can I do for you? Can you get a picture? Do I want to take a picture with Lydia and Lucas? Let me think about that. All right, yeah, I'll do it. I'll totally do it. I only do like three pictures a day, though. So it's like, now look, these guys over here are going to want a picture. Cheers. Oh, man, I only do like three. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, love you, mean it. Future Part 2 and the Flintstone. So we have the future and the past totally covered. And every single car in this lineup was custom built for the production it was featured in. I mean, that makes sense, especially for something like the Flintstones. It takes place in a cartoon stone age. Cars in the Flintstones are not going to look the same as the cars that drive around your neighborhood at home. But some are more realistic. At the very end of the line here, we have the military vehicles. 
from the Transformers. Uh, and Transformers is a, a fantasy, of course. It's got giant robots. Uh, but they say it's happening in the real world. So we have military vehicles that look realistic, but still not exactly like the real thing. There's a few reasons uh, we don't want it to be too, too, too exact. Uh, and then something like Jurassic Park is going to fall in the middle because Jurassic Park is not a real place. We all know that. We got some big vehicles here that fit in our picture car row. We have storage containers and dinosaur cages for the smaller types of dinosaur, obviously. And we're not really worried about something like a dinosaur. No, the dinosaurs escaped again! They were supposed to be extinct! I don't know what happened! Oh no! Oh! It's okay. It's alright. If you're in the back of the trap, don't, don't freak out, okay? Because the dinosaurs are... Just in case you could. The dinosaurs are fake, the cars are fake, like half the trees around us right here are made out of styrofoam. We're in Hollywood! Nothing's real here. Not even the weather. If you're watching... ...show you how we make it rain in Hollywood. Not with all the money. So let's turn things off with a little bit of thunder and light. Uh, that thunder is a pre-recorded sound effect that we just play through speakers around the hill. For lightning, we flash some strobe lights. So it's real simple stuff. But once you got thunder and lightning going, then you start your rain. And we use real water for the rain, because that's the best way to get our actors wet. But rain is hard to photograph. It doesn't really show up very well in pictures. And that means if we want to see it, we got to cheat. So we use extra large raindrops. We space out those raindrops to catch the light. We always shine the light through the water when we melt. We might even add something like milk or paint to make the liquid more visible. But one thing we do not want to do is run that water too long, because if you run the water too long, you get floods. So, Cody, go ahead and shut that water off for me now, please. Cody, can oh no, what did you do? Look out, everybody, we got a flash flood! Here they come! reminder at the halfway point. So here it is real quick. Everyone, please remember to stay seated. Please remember smoking is not allowed. And please remember uh, this red emergency cord up above your head in case you need to call for help. And now you've been reminded, I we're heading through the Old West. And when we say Old West out here, we really do mean old because these Western sets include some of the oldest Hollywood structures standing anywhere in the world, not just on our lot. Some of those western buildings go back to 1916 when the movies were still silent and we're still using them. Uh, they're planning to film this coming week a brand new show called Bust Down, which is produced by Craig Robinson and you know him from Hot Tub Time Machine. In Little Europe, we change the country we visit just by changing the language on the signs. Uh, so back in the day, this was Transylvania for Dracula. It was Vienna for Frankenstein. It was Cairo for the original mummy, so it's not always Europe. For a couple of years, they even made this neighborhood look like the afterlife for the good place. You, Eleanor Shellstrom, are dead. Cool. This location. Afterlife. I have never ever seen this. You're in the good place. I'm not supposed to be here. I can't risk going to a bad place. Maybe it's not all that bad. How can I help you? What is the bad place like? Well, it doesn't sound unique. Most sound stages, they're just empty boxes. They got nice thick walls, they give you an empty space, you build whatever you want to film, and then you film it, and then you take it apart. So the next film crew will also come to an empty space and they can build whatever they want. But our subway station
section is designed to look more like our outdoor back lot sets. It's a permanent structure, and we just decorate it different ways to tell different stories. So we can take this subway station, we change all the street signs, and we make it into a New York subway, a DC subway. Uh, make sure you have any bright lights or We got the little town across the water there. We go, oh, look at that. Oh, do you see that fin? It looks like there's a shark in our water. Oh, that's so cool. This is perfect timing. You're going to get such great photos. I love it when we see stuff like this. Oh, there's one of our divers. Hey, Pete. Pete, did you see the shark? It looked like it was headed for you. Uh oh. Pete, are you okay? Can you give us a wave or a thumbs up? Pete? Oh, for Pete's sake, we're going to have to call that in. Don't panic, folks. We're safe here on the tram. We're going to go forward. We'll hang out next to these highly flammable gasoline tanks, because that's not dangerous or weird. Uh, and we can talk a little. Oh, hang on. Something's got to hold the pier. Wow. It's got to be big to do that. I think it's at the gas on it. Like, okay. Yeah, that's probably bad. Seth Rogen, 
This is uh, the street from R.L. Stein's Goosebumps with Jack Black. It's really common. Our, our film crews love to film here because there are so many neighborhoods that look like this in the real world, and there are so many stories you can tell about people who live in a neighborhood like this. Even if you've never seen a TV show or movie that films here, first of all, I bet you have, and you just didn't realize it. Uh, but in addition to that, they also film lots of commercials here. Ace Hardware, Farmers Insurance, lots and lots and lots of car commercials. If you watch television at all, it is tough to avoid seeing this street. And it's been around since the 1940s. It's been, uh, it's been quite some time. Some of the houses have been rebuilt over the years, but a few of them are still originals. Uh, my personal favorite is this lilac colored house coming up on the right. That used to be the home of the Munsters. That was 1313 Mockingbird Lane, and that is still the original house. And of course, this whole street has been a very popular filming location for more than 80 years now. So since we just saw all those houses in person, let's take a quick look at how they've appeared on screen. Hey, bro. 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 H
police from the Pierce FBI don't move. Liam, that's right, party's over. You know how long I took to iron this shirt, man? I'm, I'm not. You're under arrest right now. Ladies, just, just back up a little bit. I got you. It's lightweight. First of all, I don't work for you. Oh, really? Well, tell me, Roman, who do you work for? We don't work for nobody. Cop, I suggest you clear out of here, otherwise we can't guarantee your safety. Guarantee my safety? I'm the one holding the gun. Yeah, but mine's a whole lot bigger than yours. Hobbs, uh, escort this novice out. Let's go, Cookie Puss! Yeah, ugly suit on, man. It's cheap. Somebody out there really pissed off shop. It's gonna get ugly fast. Yeah, don't worry. Lucky for you, our whole family will protect you. Are you kidding me, Roman? You didn't shut off your phone, bro? I gotta call you back. I'm just, I'm in the middle of the night. See what I'm talking about? Call you back. Man. It was on vibrate. Sean traced us. I just can't hold forever. Buddy, Roman, we're up. <sighs> Trying to move that vehicle. It's about to get real interesting. Lisa's all warmed up right next door. Roman, Roman truck. I need you and Lenny ready to go. Folks, things are getting serious. They're sending us to the secret floor of our parking structure to lay low. Now, hopefully, we can just hide out and stay quiet for a little bit. But if you still have your 3D glasses, you should put those on right now. The 3D glasses will serve as protective eyewear, just in case things get wild in here. I don't know where I put mine. What? Sorry, we have to go at it to leave. 
riddle just sitting there. This place should be wall to wall garbage trucks and mailmen if it wasn't for us. It's no law. Is that a group or a boy? Okay. Maybe this is the illusion of the ladies. This, from that, this, yeah. Leave the that. I drew it myself. Okay, look. It's a little edge. But the point is, that's me. That's you. That's the pet store. And I've made my personal mission to get all of you straight for the dogs. And I will make that. Maybe that's like his thing. We're going to find this. Because this is worth part. Now keep going this way. We're going to sneak through the building storage here. If anyone discovers you, it's all of them. And don't worry. Everyone be looking at me. Alright, keep it moving. You in the back, why are you moving so slow? Use that puppy energy. Move it! Move it! Uh -huh. You guys uh -huh. want to practice the tails? You in the middle. Wiggle your butt. That's not bad. Alright, alright, keep it down. No barking. Okay, but no barking. Go ahead. Okay, let it out. Alright, stop now. Hey, you over there. Why are you so nervous? You <laughs> minion. What? Welcome to the secret headquarters of Captain Snow. Now I know it looks like a typical little carry, but that's just because it provides the perfect cover. Trespassing in my
spend the night in this thing. You welcome people. Ladies and gentlemen, the journey has paused temporarily. Thank you.